Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Bulldog Bulletin. I'm your host, Luke Eddington. I don't know if you caught this or not, but Sunday night were the Emmys, and like always, the stars were strutting up and down that red carpet. Jeremy Renner? What are you doing? You weren't even nominated for anything. Anyway, back to the real nominations, and those included such accolades as the Oscars, the Tonys, the Grammys, and the Kennedy Center Honors. That's right, folks. Leave it to an award show to give awards to other award shows. Just when you thought Hollywood couldn't become any more pretentious, the Emmys prove us wrong. Obama recently talked to the press about this locked Congress and said that he bore the responsibility for almost everything to a degree. Everything? Really, Obama? Well, that's good news for us college kids, because the next time you fail a test, remember, that's not your fault. That's Obama whispering the wrong answers in your ear. In Ireland, the trademark Irish pubs, no, 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 real Irish pubs, it, it, there we go, are seeing a downturn in profits. Some are blaming this on the weak economy, but I'm saying, hey, at least productivity is up. A couple weeks ago, several videos of Mitt Romney leaked where he was talking to prospective donors. These donors paid $50,000 a plate to just to eat dinner with the guy. Now this will come in handy when Anne has to decide between a third Cadillac or another stallion to compete in the Olympics. Now, the dinner went off without a hitch until Romney said this. All right, there are 47% who are with him who are dependent upon government, who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. Yes, those darn poor people always asking for food like they're hungry or something. Doesn't Romney get this? Obviously, the Romney campaign went into automatic damage control. Listen to what he had to say. It wraps it up perfectly. Well, um, you know, it's not elegantly stated. Let me put it that way. I'm yes, if you would have wanted the more eloquent version of the speech, you'd have had to upgrade to the $100,000 a meal plan, which someone's got a ticket for right here. That's right. And this is what I've heard was on the menu. Panda meat and children's tears. <laughs> and that's just the appetizer. But this reporter's got a heads up. And I've got some children's tears right here. Mm, delicious. Well, anyway, that's all we've got for the Bulldog Bulletin tonight. Remember, you stay big, Rapids.